Hi, this is Tali and welcome to BuildDrew.com. I'm here at the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California. And I'm here with Bob from Tessera Solar, a sister company to Sterling Energy Systems. And uh, they're actually going to be the company that's going to be doing the development of uh, the product that we just spoke about. Um, and uh, hi, Bob. Hi, Ty. How are you? Great. So uh, can you talk to us a bit about the uh, installations, the utility scale installations that you guys are going to be doing? Sure. Tessera Solar is the sister company of SES. It's the company that owns, operates, constructs the power plants, the grid scale power plants using the Suncatcher power system. We've got a couple of the largest solar plants in the world that we're about to start construction on in the middle of next year. We have one in Imperial Valley, California that's 750 megawatts. We have another one we call Calico up in the Mojave Desert that's 850 megawatts. And then we have a third plant in Texas that's 50 megawatts. And all of those are going to enter construction next year. It's a very exciting time for the company as we move forward and get to the point where we're starting to actually deploy this technology now in the field at massive scale. Right now we have under construction a small site called Maricopa Solar in Phoenix. And that's a pretty exciting site because it's just one and a half megawatts, but it's demonstrating the technology at a grid scale and with a grid offtaker. That's being purchased by Salt River Project in Arizona. And as you can see from the people behind us, lots and lots of interest in this technology because it really is a breakthrough in solar in the solar field. So from a utility perspective, what are the advantages of using this product? Sure. This is really a very, very good solution for utility scale solar and there's a lot of technical reasons why. Um, some of them include the fact that we make three phase AC power which is what the grid runs off of. So it's pretty important when we have when we're not having to go through an inverter. Um, there's a lot of technical reasons around how we have thermal inertia which means that if a cloud comes over we don't go off sun immediately and utilities like that a lot. It helps to integrate it into the grid. But perhaps most importantly it's just the basic stuff that you've heard from probably from Jeff and from Brian which is just lowest cost solar and and at grid scale and being able to be made 90% in the North America matters to utilities here. So there's just some real basic stuff. And then, of course, it's all about water. Water, water, water. We're in places that are pretty arid. And so not drawing water in to use for power plants, but keeping water for drinking water and for agricultural uses, that makes a big difference for utilities and for the communities that they're in. Wonderful. And how scalable is this product? This product is probably one of the most scalable products out there in the solar industry. And the reason why is that we build in the automotive supply chain. What that means is that, think about this, Detroit made two years ago 17 million cars. Last year they made about 10 million cars. So when we talk about making 100,000 sun catchers, it's no big deal for Detroit to make 100,000 sun catchers, even though that would be two and a half gigawatts of solar. So our supply chain is one of the most scalable in the industry because we're relying on Detroit to scale up with us. And um, from a development perspective, uh, as far as you know, time to get this actually up and running, um, how does it compare with other solar alternatives? Sure. To build a plant, we've got a very, very attractive build program because we can commission in nine megawatt blocks. What that means is that even on a big 300 or 700 megawatt facility, we'll start producing power within a couple of months of starting to build. And that power will go straight into the grid and then we just add to it as we go. It's not one of these kinds of technologies that requires you to build the entire 300 megawatt facility before you go online. The utilities like that, the communities like that because you're getting clean electricity early and quick. So um, as far as service on the product, um, if I'm a utility company, I have this installed, what happens if I have issues? Well, Tessera Solar and SES both have service crews on the ground. We are manning the sites 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can think of this product a lot like owning a fleet of rental cars. Because it's basic automotive style engine, no internal combustion of course, but it's basic automotive style engine, we take it out, we change the oil, we change the piston rigs routinely, we go out and do the basic routine maintenance that you would do on an automotive fleet. So we have people on site, it's a great opportunity for people to get to, to bring new jobs into a community as well. And we're able to just go out and repair the plants. We also have swappable spares. And one of the great things about this technology is if one of these power conversion units goes bad, we can send a forklift out there with a spare unit, swap it out in 10 minutes, get it back on sun, and take it back to the shop to deal with later. So that's how we do the operations and maintenance. Um, what's the life expectancy of this product? It's at least 20 years. We think it lasts longer. Right now we're, we're, expecting, we're, we're currently modeling it at 20 years. We think that there's no reason why we couldn't go 30 years or more. These are, um, we have dishes out in Sandia that are over 25 years old that are still running at almost 100% capacity. So we know that the technology will last. So uh, can we talk a bit about the mirrors that are used in this product? Do they degrade like PV? 
No, it's a great question. We do use mirrors. They look a bit on the pictures like solar panels, but in fact they're just mirrors. And what they are is they're metal-backed, standard glass mirrors. Again, not dissimilar to what you'd have in your house. Uh, we have mirrors that, that have been out in the desert for more than 20 years, and they're still at 98% efficiency. And that doesn't surprise you. Really, the only thing that can cause a mirror to degrade is if you scratch it. So they get dirty. We go out and wash them. They're back up to more or less 100% efficiency. So because this is not sensitive to thermal degradation, it's not sensitive to basic um, degradation like PV is, as a result, we still get full efficiency 20 years later. So it's a, just a different technology and it's with some real advantages. Okay, great. great. Well, Bob, thank you so much for answering my thank questions. Thank you. It's great to see you. This is Tali from Builder.com reporting to you from the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California. Thank you for watching.